M0FXB, just a quick one on this power supply. I needed a power supply, a portable power supply, because the one I had was only 10 amp, believe it or not. So I uh, got this thing, found it on the eBay, and uh, it was £69.95 delivered, brand new. So, well, it said it was brand new. Soon find out. So we'll get it open, and then we'll show you what it is. It's a switching power supply, 13.8 volts. 30 amps, which is, you need that really for ham radio stuff. I'd say you need 30 amps. So the model is QJE PS30 SW. Apparently it's completely unused. Let's take it out the box. Got the original packaging. Yeah, it looks brand new. So there you are, regulated power supply, that basic thing, power cable, a UK power cable, that's what we need, with a, a UK plug, like so, and let's have a look at the unit, I didn't want anything too big, but not too small either, so. packaging, plenty of packaging, yeah, it is brand new, Noisy fan, of course. So, that's what it looks like. Volts, amps, on, off. It's got a cigarette lighter adapter, which I always like them. That noise offset, apparently if you move that, if you're getting noise, it helps. And remember, it's 30 amp, just a simple couple of connections on the back. And that's what we call it in England, the kettle lead. And that's it. And let's just, uh, let's plug it in. Okay, come from the back. Kettle lead into there. Good quality plug, I suppose. Right, and then turn it on. Just make sure the plug is in. Like so. And there you go. And then when you, when you, um, you know, transmit, if you've got it on amps, you'll see it pull up. That's the volts. 13.8 is what it should be at. Can't see an adjustment for volts. I think there'll be an adjustment for volts. But hey, it's only a budget power supply. And that's it. The idea is that if I do transmit, you know, 30, 40 watts, the radio's not gonna turn off, which is what the problem was with my, with my other portable one. So 7.3, thanks for watching. Bye for now, all the best.